Cooking like candy, and I am making for dinner. Ty wanted I want that one. two ribeyes. Well, she's going to have one ribeye. I'm going to have a ribeye. I'm not a steak person, so I have the thin sliced ones because I'd rather have it like that. Anyway, with twice baked potatoes and the ingredients for the twice baked potatoes. Um, first, we're going to bake a potato. And all we need is these big potatoes, and they're pretty big. Um, we're going to put a little olive oil on them. And season them up with salt and pepper and put them in the oven for an hour then I'm gonna go take my daily um, run but then I also am going to have these ribeyes marinating take them out the refrigerator you don't ever really want to cook them when they're really cold because it dries them out so you want to let them sit get room temperature I'm gonna season those up as well and then my ingredients onion garlic butter seasonings my ingredients for the twice baked potatoes, once they're baked, I'll need broccoli. I prefer the broccoli florets and frozen, yes, because it's quicker. Um, some sharp cheddar and a little sour cream. So we're going to start off with the seasoning of the potatoes so I can put them in the oven so I can go run while they're in the oven. And then our steaks. For my steak, I have onion and garlic and butter that is real critical to uh, cooking it, but the seasoning is more critical. And then I have um, some fresh herbs. This is a poultry blend. Rosemary, sage, and thyme. This tastes amazing when you cook it alongside the steak. All right, so here comes the seasoning. So for starters, I am going to drizzle some olive oil on both my potatoes and my steak. And you gotta massage it in. The whole beauty in cooking, you have to love your food follow all the instructions you want but if you don't love your food it's not gonna taste good you have to put a lot of love into cooking okay so I'm gonna make sure this oil is all the way evenly sitting on here and let it rest what's their name well, you name them there's Danquisha oh, and Judy and the potatoes just potatoes okay so I'll get this oil off my hand and we're going to start with the seasoning. So, sea salt is the best salt. Go ahead and sprinkle some sea salt around this cousin. Some sea salt around this cousin. I'm going to wrap these in some added oil. I have it salted. I'm just about to poke some holes in it. And the holes is for the steam. Because while we have it cooking, we want to make sure the steam gets all the way through it and escapes it. Nothing major. You can use a fork. You can use a knife. I'm just giving it some pointers, okay? Alright, so I have the holes point punched in there. You want to make sure that they are wrapped airtight. Because if you have the more air you have, the longer it's gonna take. So you want to wrap them airtight, roll them up. Close it up over there and put it in the oven and let it bake. Get some of this salt over here. So I have these. I'm going to put them in the oven at 385 for an hour and that's going to bake. I'm waiting on those to go in. I'm going to go ahead and season up with steak. All you need is salt and pepper. That's it. Um, I have a Chicago steak seasoning. Yes, I am infatuated with Chicago. We've all seen the memes. Chicago, people think Chicago, or I want somebody to love me like people from Chicago love Chicago. Yep, I love Chicago, but I don't live there. So I'm going to season this up with this steak seasoning. This is pretty much um, salt and cracked pepper. I'll tell y'all what it is. Oh, they don't disclose all the ingredients. Sea salt, garlic, spices, onion, red bell, red bell pepper, and red pepper. Okay, I thought I was slow reading the same thing twice. So you're going to basically do this to both sides, okay? I'm also going to sprinkle a little. I'm going to massage them in just a little. Like I told you, you got to love on your food. Cook it with love. 
And it's going to be good. If you don't have that love, it ain't going to be all that. All right. Same thing on this side. And then uh, I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to let those cook. And I'll be back to fry. So my potatoes, I smell them. So I'm about to take them out. But before I take them out the oven, I'm about to boil about a cup of broccoli. I don't need a lot. Um, just for Ty and I. And we're only working with two potatoes. So I've pulled my potatoes out from the oven. And I will let them cool off because they feel piping hot. Let them cool out of the foil though because the foil is going to keep them super hot and I'm going to unwrap them. Alright, so I'll let them just cool for a second. While they're cooling, um, I have this broccoli that's boiling. I salted the water a little, and I turned uh, this uh, cast iron skillet on because I need it piping hot because my steak is about to go in. So, got your skillet hot. I'm about to slice through my um, onion because I need my onion. But first thing first, uh, once this is piping hot, I'm going to test it with a little water. Yep, that water evaporated instantly. So you want to keep it this hot at all times when you're cooking your steak. I'm going to use some regular oil instead of um, using olive oil because olive oil will really melt in there. So I'm just going to grab some vegetable oil and I'm going to lay the bottom of this and I'm going to drop butter into vegetable oil and some butter. But I'm also going to add my garlic butter that I love and put that in there too and this stuff is hot i got my fan on because it's smoky but uh, i'm gonna let this butter all mix, blend in with that vegetable oil because the butter is the flavor and then i'm going to take my first piece of steak did you hear it sizzling it's the that. and let that boy go and let it go and let it go so the butter is key here if you want it restaurant style. So I'm going to let that butter sizzle in. But I'm going to come back with my garlic. And I don't really want it minced. I just got a small piece chopped in. I'm going to drop it in there. Because that garlic is going to sit down. And it's going to drop my fresh herbs in there. Mm -hmm. They're going crazy. There's some sage, some rosemary, some thyme. And I'm gonna drop those in there. So I'm, I like mine medium. So I'll let mine cook a little longer than normal, probably about five minutes. But I will douse my butter across the top of my steak as best as I can, and even add more butter to it because this butter will start darkening and cooking. It's not like it'll be nasty, but. I do want to have a fresher, more melty or buttery taste on the steak. Alright. I'm giving my potato some time to cool. So I'm just going to cut through there and open that. Ah, oh, I broke it, but it's okay. I can make it Still better. Still going to eat it. Because I can scoop them and do half, but I want to do a twice bake. So I'm going to go ahead and cut through there. And I'm going to grab a spoon and I'm going to scoop all the potato out, okay? Long time. So maybe we'll do potato halves on this one because this one is already done. So I'm just going to take all of my inside out. I'm going to leave some of the sides. But you're going to scoop it. It's still real hot, so I should let it cool off some more. Scoop it out. That's Tiana Marais' song in the background, if you can hear it. It's called F Your Feelings. I co-wrote on this song too, so shout out to me. You want to be real gentle with your skin because we need the skin to cuff it back in. All right, so. I broke this one a little too much too because it's heavier when it's empty. I mean, it's too heavy on the inside. 
Alright. They are at a nice brown the way I like them. So I'm going to flip them. And again, I am going to get some of these flavors over here. I'm going to add some fresh butter in here. And it's not going to take these much longer, but before I do anything else to them, I'm going to uh, wrap them up in a little foil and let them rest. So the juice that's remaining in them, can, it can still be juicy. A little onion. If you cut this off, it'll start to bleed out. And you don't want that. So I'm going to add some onions and some rings. And that's it, because Ty really don't care for them. So while I'm over there cooking, I'm going to just drop these onions in there and caramelize these and have them go into my, um, I like them. I am going to add my broccoli. I drained the water out of there. I'm going to add my broccoli. I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to add some cheese. And I'm going to whip this up. If you want to add a little milk, you can. I never really have to. And I'm going to just whip the broccoli and the potato up first with the butter sprinkle some salt and some pepper on here and drop my cheese in there while it's still really hot I'm just mix that in and lastly, I'm going to add some sour cream in here. Before I restuff the potatoes. Likens, both sides, nice and crispy. I'm gonna set them on top of some foil. And I'm gonna close this up on the foil and let it rest. All right, I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna take this one out. Sorry, Ty. And I'm going to go ahead and set this one on some foil. And I'm going to close that one up and I'm going to let that rest. While I get the rest of my food together. Mm, it's for me right there. Uh-uh, I'm going to eat it. Okay. Take my um, onions out in a second. Some sour cream to this mixture. Not a whole lot. And honestly, I'm just using what all I got left in that pack. And then I'm going to whip this all up and get it nice and blended. And um, my potatoes cooked longer, so they broke apart. But that's fine because I'm doing them in halves. So I just stuffed the half shells that I had left with my mixture. I'm going to top it off with cheese. And then I'm going to bake this again. Hence, twice baked potatoes. I'm going to bake it again in the oven until my cheese pretty much melts down. Because all of the ingredients in the inside are done. But uh, pretty much for the cheese to melt down, that's going to take me all of about maybe 10 minutes. And in that time, my meat will have been rested enough. And we will plate. And Ty is drenching hers in more butter. Yes, sir. And unfortunately, we're not using paper plates today. Ooh, I'm washing dishes. Of course. Of course. You're saying I like you always wash dishes. I do. Alright guys, be still so I can get a nice picture. Mm -hmm. Bon appetit.